Hi, hi, I'm here. I got a comment from Colorado Camper the other day on my fancy feast stove, uh, M1, oil test one, where Colorado said, I am, I'm an impatient guy. Boy, I can't talk again today. I'm an impatient guy, so I like the hottest, fastest alcohol stoves. The open jet stove I sent you a while back is the fastest one I was able to build. I got four minutes and six second boil time with it, which is faster than my Svea 123 uh, when it boils water. After I got that comment from Colorado Camper, I got a couple of messages from people asking where the video was that I did on that stove. Uh, and I have to say I dropped the ball on that one. I'm sorry. I apologize to Colorado Camper. He sent me a bunch of stoves. And I did a video where I showed you uh, getting it, an open boxing thing. And I put them in a box and put them on my shelf. And then I think I got called away to a job or something for a couple of days and never did get back to them. Again, I apologize to Colorado Camper for it was not something that I should have done. And I'm, I'm really sorry. But what I'm going to do today is try to remedy that. I'm going to start doing tests on this. What Colorado Camper was talking about with the hottest and fastest on my fancy feast stoves, a couple of days ago I was doing videos on these. This is a little stove that's made out of cat food can, a tomato paste can with a carbon felt wick in it, one inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. <clears throat> then I got a request from uh, Mato New Pie asking me to shorten the... Uh, pot stand part so I brought that down to about three quarters of an inch and what happened with that was the boil time on the uh, one inch gap was five minutes 13 seconds and then with the shorter gap the boil time was longer to seven minutes 36 seconds but then this one burned longer so he was saying about he likes the fast fast stoves and he was comparing it to his uh, Sphere 123. I have one of these. This is my, boy, this is from way back. Uh, <laughs> I should get this out and try it again. The last time I used this thing, I was with a buddy of mine, and I do not know what he did, but somehow his blew up, and this curvature that you see on the bottom that you use, we used to put fluid in here and then light it so that it would heat up the stove. Something he did popped it out and just totally popped this out so it was rounded out and I haven't gotten <laughs> haven't gotten the guts to try it again since then I will but anyway the stove that uh, Colorado was talking about of his is this one it's a small stove and this is a stove because it has a built in pot stand it's ma made out of a five and a half fluent ounce can, apple juice can. Works a lot like, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot like uh, the Trangia does as far as you put the alcohol in and then it makes vapors and comes out through the jets. It's unlike the Trangia in the sense that you can't store alcohol in here, but uh, it looks like a decent little burner. So you have the, the burner stove part and then you have these bent 16 penny nails that go into holes on the side just like so so you can adjust them for whatever size pot you want now you know, see so he even has put his name on the bottom on this uh, it's about a little more than two inches in diameter 52.4 millimeters the height on this is 1.24 inches or about 36.8 millimeters I'll put all this stuff down below as far as the weight just with the burner part, it's five point, it's 0.21 ounces or 5.9 grams. If you add in the pot stand, it's about 0.73 ounces or 20.8 grams. So a pretty nice little lightweight uh, stove. So what I'm going to do now is wait for my water to get up to temperature. I'll start this on my first test with one fluid ounce of methanol. But as soon as my water gets up to temperature, I'll be back for a test. Okay, my water's up to temperature. Let me light this. Okay, now it's working on the alcohol on the inside of the stove. 
Room temperature now is 80, about 81 degrees. There go the jets. Some of them, anyway. Okay, there go the jets. Two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 124 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty fast little burner for such a small flame. But uh, let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210. 211, 212 in 5 minutes 30 seconds. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 81. Uh, came to a boil in 5 minutes 30 seconds. Now that's different than what Colorado Camper said. He got uh, 4 minutes 6 seconds. But I don't know what size pot he used. I don't know. He may have used a windshield windscreen on this to focus the heat so that could be the difference now let's just see how long it runs till goes till run out okay the flames are going going gone at 849 let's say 849 cool for a lightweight stove like this this isn't that isn't a half bad time pretty good time Again, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes 30 seconds. And then the stove ran for a total of 8 minutes 49 seconds on one fluid ounce of methanol. So that definitely would get your water disinfected if you had it. Now a couple of things, I know Colorado Camper said that he got it in 4 minutes 6 seconds of boil time. Maybe, I mean, there's all kinds of variables on this. That's why I try to do everything the same each time. But what what pot you use could make it vary. If you used a windscreen on it, that could make it vary. When I started the stove, maybe he let it go longer until the jets were all good and flaming. I kind of started it as soon as the, the jets were going. So all kinds of different stuff could account for us having different times. But in my time... It was 5 minutes 30 seconds. So I thank Colorado Camper for sending me these stoves. I'll do the rest of them too. I apologize again for not getting right onto this. There's no excuse for it, but I thank you. So I thank you also for watching my videos and keeping me on, on my toes. And as always, I look for your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always... Watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.